St. John in Laterano. What is the real English name? St. John in Laterano. I know it in Italian. I don't know if in San Giovanni Laterano. What is it in English? In Lateran? Is that how you say it? Ciao, y'all. Naturally, Kenya here, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to discuss what are a few things you can do when it's a rainy day in Rome. I wanted to make this video because as of late, it's been raining almost every day here. I don't know what's going on, but it's been raining every day. And it would be so unfortunate if you are that lucky tourist that comes to Rome and you're stuck in the rain. So let's say the forecast says rain. What do you do? We'll discuss in this video. So ciao y'all, Nashri Kenya here. And if you are new, my name is Kenya. Yes, like the country. And I'm an American girl documenting my life and sharing all of my experiences while living in Rome, Italy, from food to travel to drink to what you need to see while you're in the city. You can find all of this on my channel. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like bell if you like this content, and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on when I upload new videos. I am trying to upload every Sunday and on Thursdays, sometimes on Thursdays, mostly on Sunday. Um, and I'm going to be taking a break here for a few weeks uh, because I'll be traveling. Uh, so I will see you guys after the holiday season. So let's hop in to these things to do in Rome when it's rainy. Rainy Rome, still cute, but it's rainy. So first things first, you want to make sure that you are prepared. Always bring an umbrella. Make sure you have shoes you can walk in that are not gonna absorb all the rain. The thing about Rome is that the streets don't always drain so well, okay? So you may be having to walk through maybe an inch or a few inches of water on your walk, so you'll have to hop over puddles. You wanna make sure you have the right footwear to do that. So make sure you bring an umbrella or maybe even uh, some jacket with a hood over your head, but you're gonna need it. The thing about the rain in Rome is that it really cycles from torrential downpour to lightly drizzling, and that can happen in a matter of a few minutes. So you need to be prepared for all of it. Also, you don't wanna forget that some of the streets are older. So there are a lot of potholes or little tiles on the sidewalk. Sometimes they shift and they can splash you. So I would not recommend open shoes or really wearing a dress if you know the forecast says rain because very likely, I mean, you're going to get splashed. You're going to get splashed, guys. So the first thing you could do, number one on the list outside of just a rainy Rome day is to visit the Pantheon. It is one of the coolest places to experience the rain because the rain does fall through the oculus and it does drain. So there's a drainage system on the side or, or sorry, in a circle around the Pantheon and the water actually falls into the center and slides off into those drains. So pretty cool sight to see. If it is a rainy day, make sure you go inside the Pantheon and see it out. You can also go to Rome's underground catacombs. So these are underground burial places. The most well-known are the Catacombe di San Calisto, and it contains the crypts of the popes from the second to the fourth centuries. Another thing you can do is have a museum day. Obviously in Rome, there are no shortages of museums. They're everywhere in the city, but I would tell you to avoid St. Peter's, uh, Basilica and the Vatican Museums because the line will be atrocious if you don't already have Skip the Line tickets. I suggest Borghese Gallery or the Gardens, but they are reservation only, so make sure you pick up your ticket online. You also have the option of going to Doria Fanfili. They have a Hall of Mirrors, which is really a sight to see. There's also Museo di Roma at Palazzo Braschi. You have the Galleria of Modern Art as well as Maxi. And don't get me started with the churches, okay? <laughs> I don't know how many churches are in Rome, but there are thousands of churches here. So if you want to just go church hopping, you can do that as well. So as I mentioned before, St. Peter's Basilica will be really, really crowded. I wouldn't necessarily go if it was raining, but you do have the other major papal basilicas in Rome and that's um, Santa Maria Maggiore, St. John in Laterano. What is the real English name? St. John in Laterano. I know it in Italian, I don't know if in... San Giovanni Laterano. What is it in English? In Lateran? Is that how you say it? And then St. Paul outside the walls. Or you can go and drink your sorrows away at an Inoteca. There are plenty in the center of Rome, also some with wine tasting. You have Vigneto, uh, Rimessa Roscioli, Rimani, or Il Gocetta. 
Those are some options just to throw around with you. You could also grab an afternoon coffee or tea. You have so many choices, so there's really no way I need to specify a proper place for you guys. But there is one place that's a bit touristic, but also known very well for afternoon tea. And that is Babington's Tea House. It's a bit English style with some pastries. And then also you have some luxury options like at Hotel Hassler, the St. Regis in Rome, and also Hotel Eden. And the most important part is that you can just go eat. I mean, this is Rome for God's sakes. You can literally just eat. Follow the Italian meal structure. There's never any rush. Take a long, long lunch. It can last for hours, guys. Start with an aperitivo drink, have an Aperol, Negroni, a spritz. Take your time, it's raining, who cares? Then go ahead and order an antipasto, order a primo. Get your hot meal with some risotto or fungi or soup. Just put the pasta, just get it all, why not? And then go over to the secondo. So if this is your main dish or veal, chicken, pork, fish, take your pick. Then don't forget the contorno, which is the side. Have your cooked vegetable salad or potatoes, why not? And then go ahead and move on with your dolce or dessert. Have a tiramisu, have a small little cake, something sweet to eat. Don't forget the coffee and wash it down with the digestivo. This is like a limoncello, a grappa, something. Just a little something to, you know, help you digest all of that wonderful food. And then after you're done eating, go shopping. Go to Renascente. The flagship store is on Via del Tritone and Renascente is a multi-brand luxury department store. So many things to see on multiple levels, so don't miss out. You could also go to Galleria Alberto Sordi, which is also a shopping arcade in Rome as well. And then just enjoy it because, whew, I mean, you book your trip, you're ready to go to Rome, you can't really predict the weather, but if it happens to be raining, I mean, what can you do? Just enjoy it, just enjoy it. Uh, the weather lately hasn't been the best, but there's definitely things you can do and still enjoy your Roman experience. So that is all for this video. I just wanna say thanks for tuning in. Short and quick one, I'll be on holiday for the next few weeks, so I'll see you guys soon. Uh, uploads on Sundays and Thursdays, go ahead and like this video. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, y'all.